Hi friends, this message is for all of you, but specifically for my one friend that I keep trying to get into YNAB. You know who you are, but the rest of you can listen too. <laughs> YNAB, or You Need a Budget, is, um, it's budgeting software, but it's so much more, right? Like I, I'm a big fan, obviously, um, because I think it sets the foundation for all of this investment stuff. Because if you're not budgeting your money, then what is it all for? It's like, you know, being in a canoe with holes and trying to pour water in and there's holes, right? I don't know, there's tons of analogies. Um, but this software has literally changed my perspective on money and how I spend it. Um, and that's pretty huge because I've never been good with money. So I've noticed when I try to um, demand that my friend allow me <laughs> to coach them through setting up their YNAB budget, I get a lot of resistance. And so I think about that all the time because it's what I do. And um, <clears throat> I've come to a realization that hopefully will be helpful for everybody, not just that one person that I love very much. Um, the word budget. Let's replace it. It's a dirty word. It has like a morass of connotations in the lexicon, just a swamp of words, restrictive. Like, what do you think of when you hear the word budget? You know, it's just a dirty word. So it's a bad word, budget, bad. Um, s just strike that word and let's try to have a contextual shift on how we think of a budget. Because this is what it's done for me. I'll, I'll tell you the outcome so far. Um, is that I've contextually been thinking about so that the so the context is decisive the context is like the container and the content goes inside right so the container if it's the shape of a triangle the content will take the shape of the triangle and so on the context is what determines how your habits are formed and made and, and why you do what you do. So we're gonna stop saying the word budget and substitute it with the word plan, plan. And how that's important to your life is like if you consider this plan, like the script of your narrative, of how your life is going to go. And this is a plan that you can author. You're doing yourself a disservice if you don't choose to use this tool you're just allowing life to be the author of your life. You're just at the whim of whatever happens to